We have a complementary source of wisdom. The writings of whom? Ellen White. God in heaven knows I speak the truth when I say how often I thank God for the ministry of Ellen White. Let me say it again. On my knees, I say it in the hearing of a God who hates lies. I thank God for what he did through that woman. And the legacy of light, the inheritance of truth that has come down to us, we despise it. Studies have shown that one of the factors that contribute to spiritual growth among Adventists is reading the writings of Ellen White. Let me talk to the young people, the older ones. Read the writings of Ellen White. Cherish that wisdom. You got your eyes on a girlfriend? Read messages to young people. Read letters to young lovers. Read Adventist Home. You're thinking of having a, a getting married? Read Adventist Home. You want to bring a child into the world? Read Child Guide. Here is a, a source of inspired wisdom. And we despise it and seek carnal knowledge. We have a complementary. Why do I say complementary? Because it supports, it, it helps us to understand it in no way conflicts with biblical truth. We despise it. Listen to a Bible verse. Don't go there, just listen. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Who can finish that? Believe what? His prophets, so shall ye prosper. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. This church officially regards Ellen Gould White as having exercised the biblical prophetic gift. As verily as Isaiah or Jeremiah, even though her writings are not part of the biblical canon, the source is the same. And when you neglect her light, you develop a disregard for this. And so I appeal to my handsome brothers, my attractive young sisters, listen to me. Do yourself a favor. Build on solid rock. Read the writings of the prophet. Buy her books. Every youth should have education. Every youth should have uh, messages to young people. Every youth should have principles of Christian education. Every young person should familiarize himself or herself with the Conflict of the Ages series. What are the books in the Conflict of the Ages series? You read those five books and you, 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 you educate yourselves in the essentials of what we call present truth. But like Esau, we despise our birthright. We despise the health message. We despise Ellen White. We despise the Sabbath. I'm glad you didn't say amen. Listen to me. We despise the Holy Ghost. We despise the divinity of Christ. We despise the Trinity. We despise the concept of the remnant. We despise the concept or the teaching of victory over sin. We despise the two-phase ministry of Jesus Christ. We despise the investigative judgment. Esau despised his birthright. And and so in my estimation, Esau, if he were alive today, would make a very excellent Seventh-day Adventist because that which God has given to us for our benefit. Now, when I say we despise, it is not an organizational despising. It is not a vote taken, a majority vote, let's despise. No, no, it is just widespread in the church. 